Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about Oculus Quest version 16 update. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazio SK and today we're talking about the main point for the Oculus Quest version 16 update. For all the bug fixes that aren't featured in today's video, go to link description below. You'll be redirected to the official release notes page where you can find all the details. Let's begin the countdown. So some cool news with the touch controllers. First of all, you'll be able to change where you want the menu button if you want it on the right controller or the left controller. So that's pretty user friendly, I would imagine. And then the other thing is that you can also choose the setting of the vibration and how much vibration frequency you want. So you can choose just to have it like or you can choose to remain it and perhaps make it even stronger. So you have something like this. Hand tracking has come a long way, link in the description below, some cool apps that you can use using your hands. And now you can actually set your garden using your hands. So that's going to be pretty awesome, I think. And then also in terms of augmented reality update, well, now you can actually use your home environment in your own gameplay. So you don't have to use a virtual environment anymore. So that's pretty awesome. But of course, you know, it's still going to be black and white and all these kind of things. So it's not going to be as clear as, you know, light of day. Now in Oculus 15, they were supposed to provide us with multiple browsers so we can multitask uh, whilst we're doing our gameplay or browsing the web and all these kind of things. But this was actually removed. Now, socials had a whole heap of improvements and apparently when you're chatting, now you can add a web link which you can click on and then whilst you're in VR, you can actually go direct back to the browser and view that information. So I think that's pretty neat. And also the really cool thing, and I think here Facebook are actually taking a plume from the Chinese book because in China there's a very popular app called WeChat which enables you to message people when you're actually part of an event with them so you can exchange messages together. Now they've done exactly the same thing for the Oculus when you create an event. Now you can create message threads for everyone to be able to message each other. So that's pretty awesome. Now Oculus when they released version 15 have told us that if we have version 1 upwards on the desktop version and we have one less on the Quest, then they should still be compatible for those who are using Oculus Link. However, I have seen that when I go back from the Quest to the Link again, after I went to the Link originally, then again, I can't see the app. I can hear the sound, but I have to actually restart my entire headset and it's really, really troublesome. And also VRChat are having quite a few bugs since the update of 16 on the Rift, but 15 on the Quest where the screen goes black when I go from one world to another world or the sound, it becomes extremely choppy. And again, I have to restart my headset. It's happened a couple times now. I was recording footage during that time, but it's just really annoying that these things happen. So I hope that this will also be fixed in a future update. Before I share with you the last update of Oculus Quest version 16, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment one of the previous videos, which is all about color space where you can color a book in VR. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Oculus have also mentioned that for those who use Oculus Link, when you plug in your Link cable, they fix the issue where basically Link wasn't connecting to the Quest. And I have noticed that now in order to bypass this, what I did is I went into developer mode so that it actually connected straight away. But when I wasn't in developer mode, then yeah, I definitely had to plug in the cable maybe two times or three times before the Quest was able to recognize my PC. And then I could click allow, enable, and then boom, I was back in the Quest. So apparently this, is, this has been fixed. So I'll test that out once I get the update. All right, thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in VR because ultimately that is what it's all about. That's right. All right, until next time, take it easy. As always, as always, DJ, take it away. Think I'd try this a new way. I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know. I'm getting tired of talking. Show right now It's time that you made your mind up